And this morning, the aftermath after one of the most iconic buildings in the world went up in flames. Our ABC correspondent Serena Marshall has the latest from Paris on the Notre Dame Cathedral fire. This morning, the haunting images, the smoldering remains of the Lady of Paris. As a country and the world mourns the partial loss of the Notre Dame Cathedral. The symbol of the city collapsing after a massive fire tore through parts of the 850 year old cathedral yesterday. The blaze beginning in the early evening hours Monday. Crowds watched in horror as its spire falling in on itself, collapsing the roof of the 12th century building. My partner and I were, were standing on the balcony watching. That was the, the moment that she started crying when we, we watched that spire fall down. It, it's just, you know, it's such an, like an, an iconic part of, of the Paris skyline. It's a building that survived the French Revolution, the Siege of Paris, two world wars, and Nazi occupation, billowing in flames seen across the French capital. It was just heartbreaking to watch. They, the ladders were not tall enough. The, the hoses were not strong enough. Eight hours later, the fight over, the building charred, the spire gone, and emotional Macron vowing to rebuild. But even through the loss, the main structure, bell towers, facade, and most precious artifacts, like the crown of thorns, saved. And the cross, still standing over the altar where thousands would have flocked this Easter Sunday, covered in ash, a promise of rebirth. International leaders, including President Trump, have expressed their condolences to the French people. French President Macron said an international campaign would be launched to help raise funds for the restoration. Already, a French billionaire has pledged 200 million euros to the effort. Serena Marshall, ABC News, Washington.